Greetings and welcome back one and all to Stardew Valley, where in the last episode our baby was born. Gwen is currently sleeping. Uh, again, I am told that she will be sleeping for quite some time. Hi Leah, how are you feeling? Don't worry, I'll feed Gwen today. You can just focus on running the farm. Okay, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, do I have anything to give you though? Uh, 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 yes we do. There we go. Here we go to keep your strength up. That's exactly what I wanted, thank you! I know, I know. Cravings can be an odd thing. Uh, right, well, do we have anything we need to drop off? Um, 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 no, not particularly. Not particularly. Alright, let's check on today's reports. We don't need to see the Queen of Sources, it's a rerun. And spirits are somewhat annoyed. Well, that doesn't really matter too much. Expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Oh, uh, well. Ah! You are moving rather quickly. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. Now it is Linus's birthday. We've got, actually we've got the pink cake that I can give to Linus. Though I don't believe that Linus is is he pink cake type person. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. No, I can't imagine why he wouldn't like it. I think I think I, I I'm just thinking that someone else actually loves it. Um. But I don't mind giving that to Linus. Let's see, what have we got? Dear Avak, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did. Oh, thank you very much, Demetrius. A rainbow shell. Now, we've got a couple of things that we need to drop off. Um, actually, no we don't. We've got a couple of things that we need to drop. Well, actually, yes. We can drop those off. But everything else is coming with. I don't believe I've got the quest to deliver. No, I no longer have the quest to deliver the Earth Crystal. That is a shame, but it is what it is. Now then, what have we got down here? We've got no, um, no sap to gather at the moment. We do, however, have these to drop off. Uh, anything else in here to drop off? We've got some sap as well. Okay, I am going to be placing you right about there for now. We'll get you somewhere else in a little bit. We've got the quartz to drop off. I also want to drop off the geodes, the bat wings, the earth crystal. Uh, these go elsewhere. Is there anything else? Yes. The st well, actually, I'll keep the stone on me for the time being. Where am I putting those shells? There we go. We can place them down there. We'll also then drop off all of our wonderful, wonderful ore. There we are. Uh, actually, with that much ore, hmm, I could do something with that for now. But actually, I think I'm going to leave it for the time being. I think maybe we may end up going to the mines. It is certainly a possibility. Uh, no, we'll prepare for a day before we head to the mines. That will give us time to get all of the stone that we're going to want slash need. Alright, okay, well, let's go and start the day properly. It's laying the bait in all of our traps. There we go. And there we go. We've got some oil. Just regular oil, that one, though. Not truffle oil. Uh, sure, we'll get an eggplant, and we'll get... Yeah, sure, we'll plot one of the cranberries in there as well. I'll get it out of oh, there. We've got star fruit that needs to be done. There we are. And a lot of cheese. Uh, we've actually got a load of stuff. Wow, okay. I was not expecting to have so much produce just sat there, but uh, I'm okay with this. There we are. So we want to load that up. We need to load both of these and get everything else sorted. Right, off we go to visit our slimes next. Hello, slimes. How's everything going? There we go. Enjoy. I don't think they're going to enjoy it. I think they're just going to be angry at me. And continually try to attack me. Oh, those ungrateful swords. Now, let's actually quickly have a look. Make sure that we don't need to repair too many fences. we only got two that we need to repair over here. So that's great for us. OK, 
get those sorted. And pop inside and see all of our uh, fur and fowl, I guess. Rabbits and chickens and ducks. No! Damn you, put these down there, thank you. I'm just obviously going to stick more into my inventory, though, which isn't really going to help me. And why are you so difficult to target? Scallywags, a lot of you. There we go. And this one. So we're just adding more and more to the eggs that we've got that we haven't yet done anything with. My lord, we've got a lot at this point. And let's pop all of these down there for now. Okay, let's check on the greenhouse. Got some strawberries. Looks like we've got a sweet gem berry. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's pop that into the seed maker. And, um... No, there's not really any point in putting any of the others in there. We'll just wait to see if the sweet gem berry gives me anything. Tick-tock, tick-tock, come on. My lord, you're usually much faster than this. I bet, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I bet by the time that I get to the exit, it'll be back. Just waiting, scoundrel. I may bring up the other sweet giant berry and actually uh, run that through the processing as well. Well, we've got a little bit too much produce for us to go milk the cattle just yet. It is Wednesday, and I believe a Wednesday is a good day to go and deal with um, buying stone. We're going to want an awful lot of it. There we go. Everything else is doing its job. Now we just need to go and... Oh, hey Leah. How are you doing? Be careful out there. Sometimes I worry about you falling into a mine shaft. Ah, oh, don't worry. Look at my fedora. I'm practically Indiana Jones. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, Abigail doesn't need to be she yet. Never mind. There we go. Thank you very much. Hello. Oh, sorry. Bonnie has no milk right now. There we go. Hello, Abigail. You know what, Evelina? I'm going to leave you for a day. So that you and Bonnie are synchronized again. Oh, Bill has no milk either. Hmm. That was unexpected. Okay, well, thank you very much. And we're off. Now then. We could spend the day worrying over um, the farm. Or we could go out, head around, socialize, possibly head down the mines, I think. Well, I don't know about heading down the mines, considering Leia just mentioned not going down them and worrying about them. Is, is that an omen? Is she, is she giving me a heads up that, that today might not be my day for the mines? Mm, don't like the implications, frankly. Do not like them. Uh, you know, I could go ahead and get some more star fruit up there. I might just do that. Uh... No. No, I think I won't. I think I'll leave it for now. Eventually I will, but for now, no. Alright, let's just go up and get this into the seed maker. I'll come back later for it, though. I'm not in a huge rush right now to get that growing. It does take a fair bit of time to grow. I also noticed there was a little bit of corn there as well that can be harvested. But it's not really my highest priority today. Hello. Right, there we go. So we can drop off the majority, if not all, of this produce, and then go check out... Well, I guess we could go socialize. I mean, we've got to go and see Linus regardless what else we do. So we may want to do that uh, as a priority. I also think we might need some more cooking ingredients. Wow, you're fast. Well played. Uh, no, we've got the we've got the primaries taken care of. There's no need to get more. I will actually add a bunch more cheese, though. And I'll actually also add the goat uh, cheese as well. Everything else, though, I am fairly happy with. Okay, well, let's go. We want to go to Linus first. Also, grab a good many things from Robin's store. Stone mostly, but. 
We're going to be buying an awful, awful lot of it. I can't get you, and you know I can't. Scoundrels. Right, where is Linus right now? Linus is the priority. Linus, you and your tent? New. Okay. Now let's go have a look for Linus around the lake, shall we? At the end of the day, I know Linus will be in his tent at the night. And we can always go in there and say hello to him. He doesn't... I mean, I don't think he can close his tent of an evening, but... If I can find him out and about, I'd prefer that, frankly. Right, well, let's go and uh, purchase a couple of things. Nice and warm in here. Oh, thank you. Do you have a kitchen in your house yet? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Cooking is kind of like doing lab work. Uh, yeah, sort of. I think it's a little bit more creative in a way, but... Hey there, Amak. Hey there, Bobby. Right, I would like to shop. I would also like some more windows for my house. All of the windows, all of the time. Carved brazier recipe. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, I'm liking the birch stuff. Yeah, I'll take a dresser. Uh, birch tea table. Birch chair. Yeah. Maybe a birch. Uh, no, I won't take the birch end table. Now, I believe there is a way to just very quickly buy huge amounts. Let me see. If control is better. Nope. Shift and control? Nope. Okay. Just gonna be holding this down for a while. I will see you in a little bit. Okay, there we go. I've just made Robin hopelessly, hopelessly rich. Well done, Robin. Enjoy your newfound wealth. I am off. We now have enough stone that we should be able to get quite a ways down into the mines. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the Skull Cavern mines. Uh, is there anyone... Linus, you're not up here. That is very distressing. Very distressing, Linus. I need to find you so I can give you your birthday present, damn it. Which is this. Now, let me uh, actually organize my inventory a little bit better. Not that there's much I can do to improve this mess of an inventory that I've got, but, you know, I'll do my best. Oh, well. Right, well, we're going to head down. It's 4 p.m. There's not a huge amount that we can do. Uh, I could head back to my uh, farm and get uh, a couple of just gifts to hand out to people. I can plan my route to try and visit as many people as I can along the way. That may actually be worth doing. So, first and foremost, I'm just going to jump into the house with the new furniture that I've bought. Let's pop these down, shall we? There we go. Now we've got a new window that I wouldn't mind having in here. And a new small window that I wouldn't mind having in here. I'll place them around like that. It looks lovely. Uh, we'll have a new table. This can be a nice little room for us to chill out in with our fancy stuff. I'm going to need to position all of this much better, and that will happen in a bit of time. But right now, we'll just put it down so it's out of my inventory and I can move around better. And I hope you can't hear <laughs> Duklings being very noisy right now. I have got them out, and they've been fairly quiet up to now, and I thought I could get away with a, a quick sneaky stream. Uh, sorry, not stream, a uh, quick sneaky recording, but uh, alas, it appears that uh, Midna has decided she's got some energy to burn. And she intends to burn it, damn it. Uh, let's see, let's get all of this going. There we are. Alright, I'm going to drop this off for now. There's no particular reason for me to carry all of this stone with me everywhere I go right now, so I'll drop that off too. Next up, I want to see who I need to get presents for. I need something for Gus, and Vincent, Kent, Willie, Sebastian, Sandy, Harvey, Dwarf. I can get a gem for the Dwarf, um, some food for Gus, um... Vincent's a little bit harder to get something for. Uh, hmm. 
Fire Quartz? Maybe I don't remember if I've already given Vincent a Fire Quartz in the past. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to get a... Sure, I'll give the Dwarf a Diamond. Actually, have I got any Cape Carrots anyway? Cape Carrots? Cape Carrots? Cape Carrots? Have I got any Cape Carrots? Aha! I do! I'm going to give the Dwarf a Cape Carrot. It'll be very happy. Uh, I will give Vincent... A Tiger's Eye. I think that might be nice for Vincent. The Kent, though... Uh, what can I get for Kent? Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, a Topaz, maybe, to match his hair? Uh, uh, that's kind of, such a lame, <laughs> a lame attempt at finding a gift, because I really don't know him enough to know what he'd be interested in. I know what he sent me. He sent me bombs. <laughs> hmm... I'm not sure I want to send in my bombs though. Um, not for any any like worried reasons. It's just that I'm not sure that the gift he gives me is necessarily the gift I should be giving him. Uh, let's see, Gus. I've got something for you, my friend. I have got uh, spicy that I don't want to give up. So uh, you're gonna have this. Enjoy. Here you go. Oh goodness, are you sure? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I'm going to give Willy some some fish. If you don't like this, I think you don't like it, do you? Hmm, you like stuff? Like Damn it, Willy! Why? Why do you not like the stuff that you... Ah, oh, whatever. I, I give up with you. I give up. You're mad. You're a fisherman who doesn't like fish. It blows my mind. I just... I can't abide it. Alright, we're going to go and see if we can't find... Our good friend Linus. Give him a birthday gift. Let him know we care. Uh, right. Hey, Robin. How are you doing? Okay. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Oh, I'll enjoy. Much like your daughter, who daydreams about death lasers. I mean, space lasers. I mean, ultimately, a space laser is more than likely built to invoke death, but still. Here you go. A birthday gift! That's very kind of you. I love it. Oh, you're welcome, Linus. I'm very, very pleased that you enjoyed it. Now it is seven o'clock. Uh, I was going to try and... Could I possibly get to Vincent? Uh, no. Eight o'clock, the house will lock and I can no longer gain entry. It is such a shame, but it is what it is. Now, on the morrow, we're going to be going straight out. I'm going to go straight to Clint's. I know this is risky. It is super risky to do. But I'm going to go straight to Clint's. I am going to try my best. Uh, did I not have any milk? No, I didn't. Okay. I should have gone to the dwarf. I was right there. I forgot. Well, obviously. But, oh, well. I can at least put this seed somewhere. There we go. I'll just get this replanted. It's a shame we didn't get two out of either of them, but oh well, sometimes that happens. Right, we've got a couple of things that we can now uh, throw in the produce bin. A Kasha can snooze for the day. Good night, Kasha. Thank you very much for your help today. But yes, I'll be going straight to Clint's to grab my uh, hoe, which I hope will be a great use to me. I'll probably use the spicy eel. That being said, I might actually go ahead and make myself... Oh, wow, okay. Never mind. That was fortunate that I came back down this way. Very well. Three eggs that I can process. What I was going to say is that I could possibly look to make um, some... Food that'll give me high luck, and I believe for that I'm going to need a pumpkin. I, I believe it's pumpkin soup that gives very high luck. I think I'm going to use the melons for this batch of preserves. Melon jelly. And in fact, it looks like that's what I'm replacing. Yes, it looks like that's all of what I'm replacing. Very well. That's actually pretty cool. Fine, get all of those. This should actually produce an awful lot of money. It's not really going to put us back on track from where I was before I visited Robin, but, you know, it'll, it'll 
make a bit of an impression. And for that, I'm very happy. 20 melon jelly will actually generate quite a lot of cash. Uh, it's 10.30. It's not a bad time to be hitting the sack, I suppose. Let's drop these off. There we go. You as well. We don't need any more cheese in our fridge. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now let's see. Pumpkin soup, is it? Pumpkin soup. Stuffing. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Pumpkin soup. I'm going to need some milk in order to get two luck. All right. I'll go ahead and I'll do that tomorrow. Night, Leah. It's not quite a peaceful evening. Nothing to distract you from the experience of living. She says as she's about to go to sleep and pretend to be dead for eight hours. Uh, there we go. 26,000. Stuffed wine made 3,600 and the melon jelly made 16,500. Not a bad return on today's investment of time. Made a little bit off the uh, just white algae that we sold, a little bit off the periwinkle, and a tiny bit off the red mushroom. Though the red mushroom did that by itself, which is impressive. But yeah, that's not too bad. 27,000 in total. It is now the 4th of winter. Year 2. But that is going to be it for me for now. In the next episode, as I've mentioned, I think we're going to be going straight down the mine. No matter what the luck is, we're going to be doing that. I want the pumpkin soup because it's going to allow me to do uh, to basically bolster my luck, regardless what the spirits have in store. And if the spirits are going to be particularly nice to me then it means that I'm going to be able to get very high luck and hopefully come back with a boatload of Iridium. We'll have to see. But thank you very much for joining me today, and I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, do take care, everyone.